Welcome back my dear viewers. This video is about that how to use the Grammarly. Actually I will be uh, telling you the two things in this video that how to download the video and the secondly that how to use it in MS Word. Okay uh, please subscribe my channel and like the video and also comment for more information and till the end of this video you will be able to proofread your thesis, your articles and your other content with the help of Grammarly in MS Word. Okay, so uh, let me move towards the video. Uh, okay, first of all, you need to uh, Google the Grammarly add-in for MS Word. Okay, uh, you can see, uh, ignore this add uh, link uh, and you should move to the second link that is Grammarly for MS Word and Outlook. Okay, you can open it in new tab by opening it you will get uh, the free download link uh, you can click at this button and it will let you towards it will let you towards the um, subscription tab you can put your details in this subscription tab and by signing up you will be able to download the Grammarly okay so uh, I just did it a few seconds before because I don't want to waste the time in it okay and I do have it in this folder named as Grammarly okay so uh, what we need to do we need to install this Grammarly add-in by clicking at the setup I'm just starting it over okay so <clears throat> that is uh, asking for get started okay so that is giving option for Grammarly for Word and Grammarly for Outlook. I just need it for the Word so I'm unchecking it. And let me move toward installation. Okay, uh, so that is asking for to close the MS Word like application where we are installing it. I'm just closing the file, okay? I put it okay. So now what we need to do we just need to put the email and password and we need to log in okay okay so I just uh, so I just log in uh, my email and that and now it's time to finish it okay so now we can open that test file and we can enhance the video towards the second step of the video how to use the Grammarly Okay, uh, so we have installed the Grammarly add-in in our uh, MS Word. So uh, let me tell you that how we can use in this uh, second uh, part of this video. Like, okay, uh, so you can see that uh, in the menus, we do have now menu of Grammarly in MS menus, MS Word menus, right? So uh, we can just click on that gra Grammarly menu. So we will have the menu very soon yeah uh, now you can see that okay uh, they are asking us to have a tour but uh, we don't need the tour we are skipping it okay so we can click at the Grammarly and you can see one uh, round shape button open Grammarly right normally uh, what happened uh, we do have this round shape button in that uh, home menu at very right side here 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 you can see the arrow okay but uh, in a couple of uh, you might say the software so we do have Grammarly this uh, like this as Grammarly menu and we can open it okay now we are going to open it for this first of all what we need to do we need to open the file we need to proofread then Grammarly open the Grammarly okay so we will see uh, a pen at the right side of the file Grammarly okay they are just intimating us that uh, you, your control plus Z uh, yeah undo function will not be available when Grammarly is enabled okay got it okay so now we can see that uh, they are detecting the uh, like uh, mistakes grammatical errors okay and they are also suggesting the solutions so for example we don't use the hyphen um, in add-in uh, we haven't used we can click add this and we can 
see that missing hyphen in why they are suggesting us it appears that add-in is missing a hyphen consider adding okay so first just 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 uh, you might say that uh, clicking that add-in we can have this here the hyphen okay so that is giving us a uh, giving us a solution okay I also use a sentence please subscribe the channel and like the video and also comment okay so see they are suggesting please subscribe to the channel preposition use preposition that that's really outstanding okay we are seeing like we are seeing uh, they're suggesting we see okay is there's like uh, hiring freelancers is becoming not only more acceptable right so they're suggesting R as these are freelancers okay that's splendid unclear antecedent like this refers to okay we well, you can see it this creates an incredible opportunity for people with useful skills to start a freelance business on the side okay normally what happened this we use for the living things right so here it appears that we can use it instead of this okay so what will happen our grammatical mistake will be clear okay so we do have uh, they are also suggesting uh, to remove the commas so uh, after the acceptable okay this is happening like uh, we uh, used to have the all the uh, grammatical errors in our uh, documents in our contents in our writers and writings and whatever the thing is we are facing right and by applying the grammarly uh, in our MS Word we can remove all the errors in our contents and that is really really very useful for all the writers and I am highly recommending the Grammarly use. Okay, thank you very much for your precious time. Have a wonderful day ahead and may God bless you. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button for the video. May God bless you.